charge of discharge of rhyme. Greedy comics, toys are hella sick, hella whackin' it. Take the bad hits, take the bad hits, start a mix. A subscribing machine for domains. Nobody gives a- What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends figure review and not a Marvel Legend, but the Star Wars 6 inch black series, The Force Awakens Kylo Ren Starkiller Base Kmart exclusive. I gotta give a big thanks to my friend Chu for finding this figure for me, thanks so much man. This figure looks very similar to the first version, but I'm noticing some differences with the lightsaber and you get the base right over there, and he's got the Starkiller written at the bottom over there, so it's like the uh, Death Star, but it's a Starkiller, which looks like an upgrade or sounds like one to me anyway. Now on the side you see it says Kylo Ren Star Killer. Then on the back, you'd see Kylo Ren without the hood on. And then there's a read up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. And then we get the red on the side with no number. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Christmas Kylo Ren out of the packaging. I saw somebody call him that in one of my pictures on Instagram. I thought that was hilarious, by the way. But yeah, we get a very snowy Kylo Ren over here. Not very different from the first Black Series Kylo Ren figure that we got and I already reviewed. We do get the Star Killer base, of course. But we also get a new lightsaber, which I really like a lot and we do get a new paint job also a new hand so let's take a closer look at the accessories then we'll take a closer look at Kylo Ren so this figure comes with two lightsabers you get the activated lightsaber right here which is brand new I really like and then we get this other one over here which is the deactivated one which looks really good too so we get this added red line coming over here which I did not see on the first one that came with the black series Kylo Ren that does not have the red stripe anywhere and this still has some really nice paint apps on it and these guys do too looking at this a little bit closer you can see the nice silver paint and black over there you get the red at the bottom you get that red stripe once again and some nice gold paint over there now if you wanted to take this right here if you're upset about not having a red stripe on your lightsaber you can apply this effect over here on this one it's a little bit tricky it does not fit nearly as well as the other one but you can get it to work you just need to yeah oh Oh no, am I gonna break it? I think, no. Right. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, that's kind of it. So, a little bit scary, but it works, you know, so you can make that happen if you want to. But why bother? You have this guy over here. This one's much better. I like how this looks a lot more. Very good looking lightsaber. I like that we get a little bit more silver paint on there. Looking very nice. Then looking at the blades themselves, you know. Uh, it does have a little bit of a bend over here, which is a little unfortunate, but I think I can fix that up with some heat. But what bothers me still is that the extra handle for the lightsaber over here does not have a hook or anything like that we could place on Kylo Ren. So it would be nice to be able to attach this to the figure. Then here's looking at the Star Killer base, which I really like a lot. Especially I like how the light's going right through this translucent blue plastic. It's mostly made of a big translucent blue plastic piece, then you get a bunch of white paint on top of it, which I do like, and I really like the sculpted detail throughout on it. It does look very good. Get some footprints right over there. Now apparently what they've done here is a sculpted treads at the bottom of Kylo Ren's feet, but the figure itself does not have treads at the bottom of the feet at all. And this does have whole pegs, but there's no pegs sticking out over here, which would have been helpful. It would have made it just stand in there a little bit easier, but it still works. You know, the snow's deep enough where it secures the figure in there. Just getting a little closer look at this, I do like it. I think it's very impressive. I like the little speckled dots that we get on top of it too. And you can see how it's still transparent. You can see my finger underneath there just a little bit. But yeah, this is really, really well done, you know? Can't really complain about this base too much. And this is mostly what you're buying, you know? Kylo Ren just at retail is about 20 bucks. This guy's 28 bucks, so you're getting the base and the new lightsabers and a new hand, a little bit more paint, so... You know, it's mostly going into this Starkiller base, which delivers. I do like this. Now, I'm not going to go over the figure itself in great detail because I have already reviewed it. So if you want to see that review, there should be a card over there where you can hit the button and it'll take you to that review. But looking at this again, it looks very good. And comparing it to the first one, like I said, very similar. I guess the placement of the belt is a little different compared to this one right there. But it is the same sculpt. And then over here, we get a left hand for holding a lightsaber. This is a force push hand right over here, which I think is a good choice. We saw this in the trailer. Again, haven't seen the movie yet, can't wait to see it, and I'm not reading the comments to this review because I know people are going to be douchebags and leave spoilers, which is okay because that's the internet and that's what I signed up for when I opened a YouTube channel. But anyway, looking at the bottom, you get some very nice paint right here at the bottom. I really like this snowy paint. Looks really good. I like the combination of using the white and having all the dots sprayed on there. So I think it looks pretty good. And then comparing it to the other version, you know, no paint at the bottom, but they did use the same material. And then this guy does have some paint added to his boots as well, which I think is very thorough of them. I think that looks really good. Very, very nice speckled white paint on there. Did they get it in the hinges? Oh, they got it in the hinges. Nice. That is cool. 
I'm really liking that a lot. On the back of the hinges, eh, not so much. Eh, not so much, but you know, it's only a little bit on the back of the feet anyway, so yeah, pretty good. So I'm not going to go over the articulation again, it's pretty much the same exact thing, only difference being the left hand. On this one, he has the left hand like rolling the dice movement right there, and it's appropriate because it's meant for holding a lightsaber. On this one, it just moves up and down, which is appropriate because it is a force push hand. Now measuring Kylo Ren once again, the figure stands just a little over six inches tall, and then measuring the Starkiller base, this is actually about six and a half inches across. And then here's Kylo Ren compared to Finn and the Snowtrooper officer. Then here's Kylo Ren next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Ooh, I see you got the Force Effects lightsaber. That is awesome. Hey, can I see? What the hell? So again, I do like this figure. This exclusive from Kmart is pretty cool. I can't say I highly recommend it though if you already have the Black Series Kylo Ren figure from Series 1. It's just kind of a lot for not that much stuff. I mean, it really depends on how much you want the Starkiller base and the new lightsaber. So I am happy with the two extra pieces that we got. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes right over here if you want more shark in your face. If you're over the age of 18 years or older, please check out the Patreon account. And if you're any age, you can follow me on Facebook. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to JediInsider.com for the latest in Star Wars news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Posing action figures, posing action figures, posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures. That's crispy. And, oh, no, that's the same too.